Hello my YouTube world, this is Johnny Mo coming to you with a special video today. It's a Sunday afternoon. Um, <clears throat> just got home from church and lunch a little bit ago. So decided to come in here and do a very special video for you. I get this question so much anymore that I'm finally going to do a video about the lawn care fertilization part of it. You guys are relentless and I understand I haven't done much um, showing you uh, what I do and how I do it and how do I come up with formulas and my program. <clears throat> Alright, now listen, I use a synthetic based program. I, I generally go from three to four rounds a year. I start in April with my first round, which is a crabgrass uh, dementia formula. Usually it's a 1900 or, or an 1806 or something like that program for that. I use dementia. I tried Barricade this year. It's absolutely the worst product I've used, so I'm telling you guys don't use it. My second round, I like to go with this product right here, which is a Merit Insecticide for grubs. It doesn't say that it handles chinch bugs, but I can honestly say that I've had lawns where chinch bugs were next door and it stops right there on the border. Uh, it's not for chinch bugs, but it definitely uh, helps with that. Um, I try to encourage all of my customers to go with uh, this product here. Um, it's it's guaranteed for a year. I guarantee it. If you have any type of insect problem, I will come out and fix the problem. Now, when I say synthetic based program, meaning <clears throat> it's not you know it's not natural. These are synthetic minerals. Um, even at that, it's it's a good program. Keep your lawn green. Keep the weeds down. Keep it knocked down for you. Um, so let's just take this program right here, the Merit. Now I charge 50% more on top of the application price. This is a mixed product. This has 2108, meaning it has 21% of it is nitrogen, no phosphorus, and it has 8% potassium, soluble potash, K2O. Um, so how do you decide how much of this product to put on? Well, right here on the label, it tells you on the low side put 3.5 pounds per thousand on the high side put 4.5 pounds per thousand so what does that mean so how much nitrogen are you getting I put it down at four pounds per thousand so it'd be four times four pounds of this product per thousand square feet so you definitely need to know how much of an area that you are covering on when you're using this product because if you don't put this merit down strong enough it's not going to work and so you have to have an idea of the square footage you can't just go to Lowe's pick up a bag of fertilizer and say oh I think this will do it you could be over fertilizing or under fertilizing and not utilizing the what you need um, to cover the area and then make a green lawn so the very first thing you want to do is you want to length times with your your lawn that you're going to be treating find out the square footage usually on the bag somewhere it'll tell you how much you know what pound you need to be putting on of this product to make sure that um, you're getting a good quality of um, a product so you know I want to make sure that I want to be getting at least four pounds of this product per thousand square feet. So it's very easy to do this. This is a this is a uh, 50 pound bag of fertilizer, <clears throat> and a lot of people are, well, why don't you go natural? Why don't you use uh, you know a natural formula? You're always using synthetic. Well, first of all, because no one would pay the price. You know this with the this this with merit costs me twenty three dollars and fifty cents a bag. You can't even buy Scott's fertilizer for regular fertilizer encompassed in one bead at Lowe's for under $46, $47 a bag. Imagine what it would cost to do acreage with natural fertilizer. It's not affordable. Customers are not going to pay uh, that money. All they care about, customers really, all they really care about, unless you get a, a person who's environmentalist, the only thing that they really care about, guys, is... Is my lawn green? Is my dandelions gone? That's it. That's where you're going to make your money. The, you can't buy this fertilizer in store. You can. You'll pay three times as much for it. You need to go to a place um, that sells, you know, fertilizer like Lesco, you know, Agrium, different places that actually sell this stuff. This is my weed control that I use. It's Mechamine D. It's a basic three-way. Now, look. 
you're looking at the percentages. My 24D is 30.56. I'm not going to go to Lowe's and buy a little thing of whatever they sell. First of all, it's too expensive. For what I probably paid for this is what you'll pay getting the same amount. You know, you'll pay three times as much as Lowe's. Look at this, 24D, you know, um, MCPP, you know, M. CP, this is MCP, I like MCPP too, this is a propanic acid, um, uh, dicamba is another, another chemical in it, so you have 2,4-D, MCPA, um, they could have MCPP, which is a good product too, or dicamba, this is a basic three-way, nothing special, I don't use surfactants or anything like that, I just spray the lawn, cheapest and best way to do it, so this, if you read this label, it would mix out at either 1.2 or 1.5 if you're dealing with cool season grasses here in the Northeast. You'd have to look at it if you're down in the South or the Midwest, whatever grasses that you have, you'd have to look to see what it mixed at. Now, this is this is what I use right here, guys, to spray all my lawns with. It's just a Lowe's Roundup backpack with a red tip, the red tip fan. Now, what I do is I've measured I can extend that backpack. I can make that backpack go 17,000 square feet. You're like, no way. I, it's called a hot backpack. What it means is I don't need a lot of stuff to basically, um, a lot of chemical on it to kill it. And basically I, wa I wave the wand like this. When I'm walking, I'm waving it like this. I'm covering an area about three foot by three foot on each side of me, about six foot. You know, about six foot, six to nine feet. And then I can cover that backpack as hot as I mix it can go up to 17,000 square feet. So 17,000 square feet with about 1.2 per ounces of this stuff per gallon would come out the whole backpack out of four gallon backpack. You're looking at anywhere, depending on how hot you want it. I can go 19 to 34 ounces. Sometimes if it's a real bad lawn, I will mix it at 34 ounces to make sure I'm getting a good kill uh, for the whole back. You're like, whoa, it says 1.2 per per gallon. That's if you're doing it, you know, if I did it that way, I'd only get 4,000 square feet because it would be a gallon per 1,000 square feet to get the chemical ratio mixed. And so you have to understand, guys, that when you're mixing this stuff, you have to really know the square footage, how far the backpack's going, and what you're doing with it. You can't just mix this. 1.2, four ounces, and go out there and start spraying, expect to kill and wipe out a lawn. My success rate is very awesome with this chemical. Now, if it's 90 degrees or above, even 88, full sun, you don't want to be putting this stuff on and just blanketing a lawn. You want to you want to do more of a spot spray if you can. If if you have a fresh lawn that's fully weeded. What you want to do is you want to make sure it's on a cooler day because you can hurt the grass. You can hurt it with too much nitrogen. This is a nitrogen. Go ahead and put a pound and a quarter of nitrogen on per thousand square foot on a 90 degree day and find out what happens in the next few few days. You're going to see some browning if it doesn't rain. This, this stuff, you don't want to play around with this stuff. If you accidentally mix it too hot, you'll kill a lawn. If you ever spilt fertilizer in an area on a grass, watch what happens. It kills it. You got to watch your nitrogen rate when you're dealing with hot, hot weather. Um, the other product that I, I like to use a lot of is Roundup Pro. I think it's awesome. Uh, this stuff here, I mean, look at the glyphosate um, formula right there. It's 48.7% of active ingredient. That stuff is phenomenal. I think this is the best stuff. It's a little bit more money. But it works fast. It works within 30 minutes rain. Uh, and, and you don't have to put, because the concentrate, so you don't have to put a lot in there. So generally, I can get away with putting 1.5 ounces with the other stuff from this same company. It was called like Cornerstone. And what you'd have to put like four ounces per gallon. I can put 1.5 ounces per gallon of this stuff in. And I, I mix it and I put it in. You know, I put it in, there it is right there, RU Cornerstone. That's that's my old backpack. That's not for that. Uh, actually, that backpack doesn't even work anymore. That's why it's sitting over there. My garage is a mess, guys, because I've just been so busy. 
But anyway, let's go over. <clears throat> so let's do a review. You guys asked me my program. Now, this is what I'm putting down right now. I'm just finishing up round two. Round three will come. If the weather is good enough for round three, I will do it. If it's, if it's, you know, if it's too hot, I don't put a round three down. I put an early fall treatment on and I let that, you know, I'll put a, a slow release fertilizer on. I always use granular liquid fertilizer is just too fast acting and it doesn't last long enough. So I use all uh, granular. My third application would be just a, like a 50 to 75% slow release basic. Let me see if I have any stuff over here. I got, there we go. This is what I would use right here. This is my, the people that don't want uh, merit, I'll put this on. 2405, has 2% iron. Uh, watch, watch using iron, guys. Iron will stain cement. It'll turn it orange, and it will also bring up, uh, turn blacktop a little bit uh, color, too. So you've got to be careful. This is a, I believe it's a 50% slow release. It probably is. So I'll put that on rounds two and three. Um for people who do who do not want uh you know the the merit mostly all my customers get merit now it's almost a priority for me i i i always make them another product i use is uh talistar talistar another signature oh, it's for chinch bugs so if you have chinch bugs and i find them round three i'll put talistar on so you get some fertilizer and you get some Talistar, which is, you know, basically it'll kill the, the surface. This will kill subsurface. And uh, round four is just, uh, round four, I like to put down dimension again on some of the customers that have a, my troubled lawns that have dimension. I don't have any crabgrass left over, but I showed you in another video about crabgrass, uh, crabgrass products. Um, dimension is the one, only one that I suggest right now. Uh, right now, I think Dimension is the best f at, for killing crabgrass. So round four, I like to put another application of crabgrass. It kills all the crabgrass that is seeding at that time. It's about to die, so it's starting to seed. And as it seeds, you put down that, that Dementia, and it helps for the following year. It suppresses it, and then you put another application the following year. And that's my fertilizing App, that's that's my four rounds. So let's break it up. One is crabgrass removal, <laughs> crabgrass preventative. Number two is merit. Number three, if the weather's cooperative, you're sitting in the 90s. There's no sense putting this stuff down. You know, I know companies go out there and they push it and they push it and push it. You can put 75% slow release down. You can do whatever you want. I choose not to because I have lost lawns where we've gotten to the 90s for a nice stretch and the lawns just die and all of a sudden you got fertilizer sitting there and then all, all of a sudden you'll get like a rainstorm that'll come in it'll break down the fertilizer and all of a sudden now you've got live action fertilizer and it's sitting 90 to 100 degrees so you i look at the long range forecast and i decide whether or not round three is worth it or not round uh round four is is again another crabgrass application if you've got a real thick lawn and you don't have crabgrass problem i will just put down a basic 2405 product to get you the roots nice and deep and give it one final feeding again if you're going to get into this first of all you got to be licensed make sure when you're handling this stuff you handle you know i wear rubber boots i wear you know gloves make sure you do what's right you don't want these shoes getting all messed up in mechamine d and roundup pro because your feet your eyes and your nuts if you're a man if you got some if you got some genitals down there, they're very absorbent. It absorbs right into your bloodstream. And if you've got this stuff on your shoes, so every time you put your shoes on, you've got, you're absorbing more and more chemical. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you do it right. This isn't stuff to be playing around with. It has an LD50. What an LD50 is, is how much per kilogram or per thousands of this product would it take to kill a rat so anything as an ld50 has a potential to harm you and given over time enough of it stored up in your body i don't know what it would do so make sure that you do the right things here so that's my program guys this is what we do so i wanted to make sure that you knew and i i, I can't do videos guys <laughs> honestly you guys wanted me to do you know mowing videos there's my trailer by the way <laughs> it's back right up to the garage um mowing video i just can't I, first of all i don't have the technology i just have this phone and second of all i just don't have the time especially being solo um 
just being able to get out there and, and just really film. I'm always on the go. It's rained so much here. We just don't have time. But I wanted to show you something else that is sometimes overlooked as far as, and I left it this way just so I could show you. When you're dealing with a spreader, application put down and the way it broadcasts is very important. I want you to see something. This is from humidity. And this is something I've not seen on any channel. No one talks about this stuff. To properly put down your product, I want you to notice something. The third hole is partially clogged. Did you see that? Now look. Now why? Because it has it has the dust built up from the merit. So you got this hole open, this hole, and then you got this hole is partially clogged. It's partially being clogged by this, which after every bag of fertilizer, what I do is I, I clean all this out. I, I get a little thing and I rub it all and I get it all out of there like a little screwdriver to break it all up. See, it's partially clogged. So if I were to go put a bag of fertilizer in there right now, I would be misapplying. That would be to my right side. That would be my right side. So what would happen is on my right side, I wouldn't be throwing enough on my right side and then you get what's called streaking. These are things that I don't see guys talking about when it comes to spreaders. They get these cheap little spreaders and they don't do anything with them. Here's something else. Notice, notice the, the uh, impeller. See all that stuff that's built up right there? That's just from one bag of fertilizer. See, I take a little screwdriver and I clean it off every time. What happens if you build up too much right here, and this is where it drops off this little cone and it comes right here. If this is, if this is piled up, that means the spread pattern is going to be off and you're going to streak lawns. You're going to misapply. You don't want to misapply. So I keep this clean and I kept this dirty on purpose just so I could see, show you guys, give you some tips and tricks. See, these guys, these guys don't tell you these tricks and tips of the trade. So you carry a little screwdriver with you. You scrape your impeller all the time so that way that oh I, i'm missing a little thing there i'm gonna have to get one um my little clamp is missing um so when you when you're dealing with especially humidity humidity it sticks everywhere you you can only spread about a bag of this stuff before stuff starts clogging up just some tips and tricks right there. Keep your stuff clean. I didn't clean this because I wanted to show you. And here I'll show you. Just the, it's just real basic. Let me get. Let me grab a little screwdriver here. Phillips head, whatever. Just real basic. You just clean it out. See, you can see how wet it is. It's for so humid here. The dew point's in its 70s here. It's just so humid. And once that gets clogged up in there, now look. Now that's sitting over that hole that won't drop through so keep your stuff clean guys a bag of this stuff it's got so much dust in it with the merit that it will clog your spreader up you will misapply and that's how it goes oh wait what's that is that a new mower